In this video, we're going to be discussing the query log tool. The query log allows you to see the queries that you have sent to DNS filter for resolution. And it allows you to answer questions such as, where did this query come from? How was it answered? And what time did it occur? Let's go ahead and get started. If we look at the tools menu, we can see underneath query log. As soon as I select that, I'm given the option to choose between a site or a user agent. I'm going to select a site. As soon as I do that, I'm given this chart of queries that have been sent in the last hour. But I can easily change this time horizon and increase it to the last 72 hours if I want to. Let's go ahead and take a look at a particular query. This query took place at 4.52 a.m. UTC from the Sales 5 computer. It was requesting this particular domain and it was categorized as uncategorized. The result was it was allowed because uncategorized domains are allowed on my policy. Let's take a look at a few other examples. For instance, discovery.syncthing.net was classified as information technology and it was also allowed because it was specifically whitelisted on my policy. You can start to see the usefulness of this tool. You can see where a request came from, where it went to, and how it was treated. This allows you to make policy adjustments. Perhaps there was a particular website that was blocked that you need to be allowing in the future. For instance, the Sales 5 computer has ESPN.com blocked because it's specifically blacklisted on that policy. But if I was a bigger fan of sports, I might allow ESPN on the Sales 5 computer so that people could check the NFL scores. The last part of the query log is the ability to download a CSV export of this information. You can go ahead and adjust a time horizon that suits you and download a CSV export. It will be emailed to the account email address. Now I've already done that, so if I open up Excel, I can see the export of this information. For most people, the dashboard shows them enough information. But if you have a particular tool and you want to parse this information, the CSV export is a good option. Thank you for watching this video.